Yes, I am deaf. Just kidding, I'm not deaf, but I just thought it would be hilarious, like, to just, in the middle of a conversation, just shout that at, like, some insane volume in the middle of someone talking, and just be like, yes, I am deaf. Like, as if you thought they were talking about, like, as if you're deaf and you thought they were talking about you being deaf, but of course you don't know what they're talking about because you're deaf, so it's just funny because you're assuming that they're talking about you being deaf, but of course you're actually not deaf. Unless you are deaf, but if you're not deaf like most of you, then it's just funny because they're like, what the fuck? If you are deaf, I'm sorry. But I'm definitely going to be going up to conversations, uh, or even conversations I was previously a part of, and just being like, Yes, I am deaf, thank you! Or something like that. Oh, it's such a dick move. But fucking hilarious, I guarantee it. I've only done it once. Actually, I really haven't even done it once. I just kind of watched someone else do it and not even on purpose. It was just, he was just joking. He was just like, I mean, I guess I would be joking, but he was just like, yeah, so what? I'm deaf. But like, he's not really deaf. He just meant he can't hear what they're saying, what other people were saying. But I'm going to say it like semi-ironically, so it'll be hilarious. By the way, I'm really tired. It's like 5 billion o'clock in the morning, just kidding, it's probably only like midnight, but I'm a lazy old man. Also just kidding, I'm 23, but anyway. Game & Watch Gallery 4, here's just gonna be a nice little relaxed, peaceful playthrough, I haven't had a ton of them. Um, it's all pumped, which is great, pumped is great, you can still relax to pump if you turn the volume down, but this is gonna be especially relaxed and is therefore going to be titled Peaceful Playthrough, I promise this time. I actually do have Mountain Dew next to me, um, and I might drink it in a minute, but I am having an allergy attack, so I'm a little stuffy. I have so bad allergies all the time. It's crazy. I'm allergic to everything, including cats, and I was just in a house with two dogs and two cats. I'm allergic to fur, and both dogs had fur, and there was also two cats, and so I was, like, dying. Um, anyway, what are we gonna play? This is a great game. I've had this game forever since I was like four. It's really cool. I don't know about four, but you know, it probably wasn't out when I was four, but whenever it came out, that was probably about when I got it. I'm really bad at all these games. Um, but I'm not absolute shit at Donkey Kong Jr., I think. Um, I'm like decent at, at, at uh, well, I don't know if 848 is really decent. I'm sure some people are like, oh, I get to 2000 easy. Easy peasy. GG, no re. Well, anyway, we're just going to do easy classic because this is what I'm used to. Okay, let's. Boom. Uh, jumpy. Okay, so the plot of this game is Mario's an asshole. And he totally stole Donkey Kong and kidnapped him, really, and threw him in this cage. And we're playing Donkey Kong Jr., uh, trying to save him. So we have to avoid crocodiles and uh, evil birds. And um, it's pretty hard in the later parts of it, in like the later levels, I guess, just because it's so fast and there's so many fucking crocodiles. There's so many already. We're on easy mode. You have to grab this key that's swinging to unlock it. You can only unlock like one bit at a time, though. Jump. Oh, I'm terrible at timing these out. Ooh. Ballin', drop that coconut to make them blow coconut. Alright, so then when you fully unlock the cage, it's like kind of like beating a level, and you totally fuck me. I'm See, I'm terrible at this game. I really am. You can get lives back for like 300 points, but I've already flubbed it. Oh, I jumped too early. Anyway, Mario's just sitting there on his fat fucking ass. And, uh... We're gonna have to do this over. I already feel it. This is not a great run. And we're just trying to rescue our dad. So, as you might... Fuck, I didn't even mean to do that. I'm just so tired. Let's try again. Um... That Donkey Kong in the cage is actually Cranky Kong. Oh, fuck me. I might as well just start over, but whatever. It's not for serious, it's just for play. Um, I guess that's all games, but fuck it. Oh, no. 
I promise I'm not trying to do this. I really am trying. I'm just tired. Anyway, that one in the cage is Cranky Kong. And the Donkey Kong we're playing is Junior, who's like the modern Donkey Kong, the one that's in, in all the Mario games now and in Donkey Kong Country. We're playing as his dad, basically. I say basically too much. Fuck. Fuck. Okay. So we're playing as modern DK's dad. That's cranky up there. That doesn't really have any relevance to anything, but, you know. Oh, nice zero point coconut drop. When else can I say that sentence? It wasn't even really a sentence. It was kind of just. It was just kind of words thrown out there. Ooh, ooh. Jumpity. Alright, let's see if we can make, like, more than five points this round. That's five. I win. I beat Donkey. I do like this one. This is probably my favorite among the games on this list, but there are good games on here. I really wanted to unlock... Like, one of the last rewards you get for getting, like, a Brazilian points and everything is unlocking the Zelda LCD game, which is so awesome. The the Zelda Game & Watch, I would love to own that. It's super cool. There are two of them, I think. Maybe maybe three, but I know of two. There's one that was, like, an actual Game & Watch, like a flip-open thing, and one that was a watch, like you had it on your wrist, and those are awesome. I have one of the watch ones. I have the Mario World watch one. Super cool. I just decided to treat myself one day. It was like one of those treat yourself kind of moments. I just really wanted it. free points. Um, but I I also want to get the Zelda one. Because I love Zelda. Probably not as much as you might think I love Zelda. Like, I'm not like crazy about it. Like, fuck me. Like some of the other people on the interweb. But, I mean, I like it. Who doesn't, right? Super controversial stands. Alright, let's try something else. Because I'm god-awful. It's fire. Let's do easy modern, though. Because it's more colorful and it's the same thing. The modern Donkey Kong Jr. is um, is actually pretty different, but it's still really good. It's like, it's like almost like an actual platforming game, you know? Whereas that one's just kind of running over the same loop over and over again. It's still a good game. I like the classic better overall, just because I'm I don't know, it just makes sense to me, but... I know that sounds weird coming from someone who just fucking horribly failed at it, but, you know... Sometimes things make sense, and sometimes... You... Make five pence... On the streets, selling the paper. What was I talking about? Anyway, this is fire. I was talking about Game & Watches. I don't really own a lot of Game & Watches. I own one original one, which is Mario. I got it for my birthday or Christmas from my girlfriend it was really nice the Super Mario one where you run through the, the stages that one's like an actual platformer it's really cool I like it a lot I do still want the Zelda one but that one's a really good one I own a lot of the remake Game & Watches like they did on the little mini Game Boy looking ones and like the colorful plastic see-through plastic on most of them I own a few of those those are really cool um, oh it's a star no, just kidding. Why did I call that a star? I'm so tired. Oh my god. It's a moon. Why did I call it a star? I'm not even like that tired. I probably am. I'm pretty tired, but like... I, I really... I shouldn't be that tired. I've stayed up later than this and had my whereabouts about to me. Am I saying anything that makes sense? Am I even recording right now? That'd be hilarious. Would it be? No, it'd be sad, but... How is this cart fitting all these fucking toads? It's like... They're clowns or some shit. There's a clown car. Hey, Paracoopa, can you help me out a bit? You bitch. Could you help me? No? Okay. I know I said this in an early episode, earlier episode of whatever the hell, but... I do love LCD games. Um, of all kinds. The McDonald's ones. The... Neopets ones, the, um, all, you know, all sorts of Nintendo ones, like the Pikachu in your pocket thing. Um, I just find them so interesting. Um, like what, 
It's the same idea of like, you, you don't have a lot to work with, so the necessity to make an interesting game, like, you know, around a really limited hardware forces the, use, the, the creator to be super inventive with it. And that is often the case. Like, oh, shootski. Oh, you poor thing. That's often the case. Um, like, the Neopets ones are really interesting because they have little figurines that go on the spots. And so you kind of like, you know, really feel like you're taking care of a Neopet. You have a little figurine and you put them on different spots on, at least on the big egg one that I had as a kid. And you put them on different spots of this little play area. They sculpted out a whole like play pin. It was like a little poly pocket, you know, pocket holding thing. But like for Neopets and you could play with them in the thing. It was like those Pokemon little lunchbox looking things where you open it up and you play with the Pokemon inside. Um, but it was also an LCD game and putting them in different spots will let you do different things, I think. It's really cool. I have it somewhere. I have two of them actually because I accidentally bought two online because I really wanted one. And accidentally bought two because I'm dumb. It was worth it though. Um, what other great LCD games are there? The Tiger ones, most of them are, are, aren't are great, but the really good ones are um, Metal Gear. Metal Gear on the LCD Tiger. It's one of the few that's talking. Oh, it's it's super good. It's like actually, a, it's not a stealth game by any means. Well, all right, by one means, it's a stealth game. You do actually hide in certain rooms. Like you can hide for a bit if you want to just catch your breath or restock your ammo or change your weapon or something. But the majority of the game is running and gunning, but you do, you go through a story, it's got voice acting in it, if you can call it that, you know, you talk on the transceiver to people who tell you like, hey, two screens ahead is a fucking tank, so you better have your grenades out, and you get ammo for different weapons, you get key cards, and, and then Snake is like, I have key card number two, I have grenade, and, you know, just BS like that. Um, but it's great. It has a charm to it, for sure. Oh god. Oh god. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Don't die. Why are you all jumping at once? I didn't say I was ready for all of you. Oh no. Oh god. How did I do that? But it's a really interesting game. Um, I think it's good. Especially for uh, an LCD one. Another good one is Gauntlet on the Tiger LCD. That one creates, I, I believe it's randomly generated, um... Oh, hey. Yay! I believe it, it randomly generates, like, dungeons to walk through, and you it, it's like a dungeon crawler type of thing, where you go through this dungeon and you fight monsters, and your life is going down just like in Gauntlet, and attacking kills monsters, but it makes your life go down. Um, even faster, but of course getting hit makes it go down the fastest. So, you know, if you have to kill something, you know, it's better than getting hit by it, but you, it does encourage you to, like, that one's more of a stealth game, if anything, because that one encourages you to, like, sneak around the, the place and find a way out as quickly and as, you know, um, encounter-free as possible. Um, boy, the challenge of, of this fire game is that they go at different heights at each bounce. So it kind of fucks with your tempo, but that gauntlet one's good. And you can get keys to, like, open up the wall. Like, keys will open secret holes in the wall. So a key will just straight up, like, basically disintegrate the wall in front of you. So you try and save your keys for when there's a monster and you really don't want to fucking swing at them. And there's two playable characters. You can play as boy or girl, and the boy has more life and attacking. I think attacking makes his life go down less. But the girl is like, I, she's way better because she's faster. So she can just outrun the enemies. She never has to fight. Like, yeah, it's better for the guy if you end up having to fight. But you almost never have to fight when you're fucking. You almost never have to fight. Look at Mario and Luigi. They're just like, oh. You almost never have to fight if you're the girl because she's so much faster. She has less life. But, like, if, you're, if you know what you're doing and you get enough keys... To just, you know, disintegrate the walls and, and outrun the enemies. Like, you can totally cheese the game with playing as the girl. She's way better. Um, in my opinion. I don't know. I've only beaten the first, like, half of the game. Maybe the second half of the game is really 
combat intensive. And the guy is needed, but whatever. I guess that you cross that when you get there. Am I bridge right? <clears throat> um, this castle's been on fire a long time, and there were a lot of fucking toads. Was there any... Did we have a plan? Look at this fat fucking... DK Jr., please! Criminy Crimfniff. Oh. My loins, please. Oh, what's another good LCD game? Street Fighter, I own it, never played it because it's in box. I don't want to open it up. Um, uh, There are other good ones. I know there are. Plenty of bad ones, but there are other good ones. I'm trying to think about the Tiger one. Oh, Mega Man 2! That one's legit good on the tiger, because you actually play a bunch of different bosses, and I, I think you do get to pick the order, just like in Mega Man, and diff you get a bunch of different weapons, and different weapons will do different, you know, they'll have different uh, uh, efficacy based on who you use them on, but I think there's a glitch that makes the bubble do bonus damage on two of the bosses, and one of the weapons does almost no damage against anyone. Something like that. It was some BS where they, like, reversed it for one weapon or some shit. So it's almost like there's two bubbles or something like that. I remember there being some bullshit like that. Um, it's been a little while since I beat that one. But I have beaten that one. Um, I feel like there are more good ones. I just can't remember because I'm stupid as shit slash really tired. Probably all the above. <laughs> Okay, we can do this. We can do this, we can screw this, we can poo this. Come on. Get in the fucking car. Carriage, that is. Figgity, figgity. Well, we deserved that. Now well, that was my high score. I don't doubt it. Fuck is hard. Oh, special games. Mayro Bros. Nope. That one sucks. Just kidding, it doesn't, but I'm just not good at it. Um Which one is this? Oh, this is legitimate. Can I only jump in those two areas? That's weird. Oh goodness, I can't hardly see. What am I supposed to do here? What? Okay. Pretend like that made some kind of sense. Oh. Ow. Okay, let's try that one more time. You have to hit the switch, and then you f fuck a bitch. Wow. That was sad. Let's try something else. Nothing else. What's Chef? Uh, it doesn't sound interesting. Rain shower. I remember this one. Let's do this for a few minutes. That's right, Bowser the fucking asshole. You have to make sure he doesn't splash any of your friends. Because he's a fucking asshole. Fuck you, Bowser. In dying your arms tonight, you say something you say. <sighs> you know what song I have stuck in my head? Face My Fears by Utada. Ow, that was my hand. Um, it's super Gucci, super goodly. It's like, I can't do all the dubstep, but it's like, let me face, let me face, let me face my fears. <laughs> Does all this dubstep? 
I can't do it though, especially when I'm like dead. Inside and out. Hollow, hollow at your boy. But it's hollow like you're hollow inside. Wow, Bowser, you don't have much going on in your life if you're just sitting in a tree with like a bazillion water balloons all day, huh? You're just tossing them like two at a time, hoping so desperately to smack Toad or Donkey Kong Jr. on the head with him. Mario, why are you being nice to DK Jr.? You've made it clear you're not his friend. I don't get it. Where were you on that one, um, lawyers? Mario's lawyers? Shouldn't you have kept him, like, a hundred yards away from this child ape after kidnapping his father? What, just because his father kidnapped your girlfriend, it means you get to lock him in a cage? Didn't you watch the movie Rampage, based off the video game Rampage? What am I even talking about? It's like someone else has control of my lips, and then simultaneously has control of my air, and my throat, and my lungs, and my tongue. Let's see Toad get hit by this. Oh, fuck! Oh my god, he's dead! And he's green! Oh, that was fucking awesome. Let's see DK get hit by this. Oh, yeah. Suck my ass, ape. That's right, Mario's Revenge. Alright, let's see if he gets stained green after this one, or if it, if it mixes. Huh. Wow. Totally green. Eat a dick, DK, Jr. Cool, well, I think that's about all that's required from this one. The boxing's okay. Do one round of boxing. I take it back. Fucking, let's beat up this wiggler. Boom. Ow. Mike Tyson's fuck out. Let's go, let's go. Oh, shit. Eat my wiggler, bitch. Oof, oof. Going for the... Going for the... Going for the... Punch. Oh, 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 oh. Triple combo. Fucking sure you can his ass. That's right. Yep. You got 99 legs, and I'm about to snap them all off. Luigi's coming for that f fucking flower on your head. He's killing ghosts, and he's killing wigglers. He's just a killer in general. Don't let Luigi near your children. He will kill them. Let's dodge. Punch. Dodge. Punch. Dodge. Punch. Dodge. Punch! Fuck you. Yeah, that's right. Triple combo. Wombo combo. Yo, that ain't Falco, it's Luigi. Oh shit, it's an actual ghost. That's right, I was built for this. I was built for this. I, I was molded by it, born by it, fucked by it. Come on, get over here. Oh yeah, that's right, triple blocked. Blocked, 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 blocked. Blocked on Tinder, blocked on Facebook, blocked on Instagram, and blocked from this reality, from this dimension. Luigi's so fucking pale, he's basically dead himself. That's why he's able to punch an ethereal creature like this. Danny Phantom better be afraid of Luigi. Fuck you. Fuck you. That's right, Luigi says Beetlejuice six times in a row, and Beetlejuice doesn't dare fucking turn his head up, because he just fucking killed Boo. Oh, that felt good. All right, it's time to fight your dark self, your your nega Luigi. It's Wa Luigi, negative Luigi, more like where's Luigi, aka Wa Luigi. He's going for the kick. This is kickboxing. We're going for that punches, punches, punch him in the leg, trip him up, knock him in the chin. Look at that disgusting chin. Oh yeah, you want some more? You're elbowing at me, huh? 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 Boom. That's right. Boom. Not afraid to go low. Not afraid to go dirty below the belt. Yeah, you can go below my belt, Waluigi. Yeah, that's right. Fucking... Ooh, blocked! 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 Fuck you! That's what I think about your stupid purple shenanigans. Wow. And the worm is back for more writhing and wriggling. Like maggots beneath my heel, you shall all fall. Fuck. 
This is the most intense I've ever punched. This is like, this is like punch out. But it's intenser because I'm Luigi. It's the year of fucking Luigi. Again. All right, after I defeat this fucking ooze monster, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop because this is too much intensity for my li wee little heart. And I still need to record more videos after this because, I mean, it's not like I'm on a schedule or anything. I'm too dumb to set a schedule, but I really have this like itch in my brain that's like, if you don't record, you're what are you doing with your life? You wanted it so bad, and you're not even doing it. All right, let's let's get that all off of that. <clears throat> Thanks for watching this peaceful playthrough. Sorry if I got a little too intense on the boxing there. I mean, can you blame me? The fucking green flash just had to... Whoa, Nelly. Oh my god. Am I hallucinating? Is this... Is this how it all ends? Is this what they called the rapture? When God spoke to Jesus while Jesus was being reincarnated, did he speak of this? Was this foretold in the ancients? Oh my god, it's happening again. They have been reborn. I think this is if this is proof. This is proof. You know when Mario has like two lives or whatever and you you die twice and it goes down to like you know, Mario's face times 0 and you still get to play like it's like what it means is like you have zero lives remaining like if you die again that's it. But I was like, "Oh my god. I have no lives left, but I'm alive." And I was like, this proves it. Jesus is real. I went up to my mom. I was like, Mom, look. You know how I know Jesus is real? Because look, Mario has no lives, and he's still alive. My mom was like, I shouldn't have bought you this fucking Game Boy. I was a creepy-ass five-year-old, I guarantee it. Good times. Thanks for watching as I fucking... Thanks for watching this video. If you like what you see, then let me know with comments and likes. See you next time on Secondhand Gameplay.